I've gotten a lot of questions recently from viewers asking about how to add a satellite or transponder to their Amico Mini HD265 receiver. Now, even though this receiver does have a lot of satellites preloaded, you can add your own in. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Here we are at the installation menu. So we'll go ahead and select installation and then satellite installation. And now to enter a new satellite into your receiver, on the bottom of your remote is a SAT button, a little button that says SAT, press that. And this gives you a list of all the satellites installed in the receiver right now. So here's some that I've entered. I've entered these ones here for Montana PBS. This is for a CBC channel in Canada and a few others that I've entered on my own. On the right side of the screen, you see the colored buttons there. Those correspond to buttons on your remote control. If you hit the yellow button to add, this menu comes up. So now we can add our own satellite in. So if we press OK, we get a keyboard and we'll use the example of satellite 103 west on the KU band and we'll just give it a name that we're going to easily recognize. We'll just lump all the letters together here just to get this done quickly. 103 West KU. Now we can hit the red button to confirm and save that. Now it's saved. Now we need to enter the longitude. So we'll press the arrow to go down to that. And then using the number keys on your remote, you're gonna enter the longitude of 103 degrees west. So that's gonna stay as a zero. We're gonna use the right and left arrows to change this uh, direction to west. And then use the, the number keys now, zero, one, zero, three. And then go down to save. So now we can see our satellite we've just created, 103 West KU band is now saved. Now, if we hit the menu button, that brings us back to this screen. And we're going to find the satellite we just created. I'm just gonna scroll up because it's faster to get to the end this way. There it is, 103 West KU. Now we want to confirm that our L and B is set correctly because without setting the L and B frequency uh, correctly, you won't get any channels. This is a KU band satellite. So we have to set our L and B to this. I'm using a standard L and B and the frequency should be at 10750. If you were using a universal L and B, you'd have to send, set this to 10600, but this is the correct frequency for the type of L and B that I am using. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and hit OK, and that's set. All right, so hit OK. Now we can add a transponder. So we go down to the TP index here, and there's nothing here, nothing here. So we can hit the yellow TP edit button. That's going to allow us to add a transponder in here. Now, since there's no transponders added on this satellite, we can go ahead and just dial one in right now. If you were at a satellite where you had a bunch of transponders already, you would use the green add button to add a new one, but there's none here. So we're gonna be able to dial one in right away here. We're going to use the NBC MUX on 103 West KU band, and the frequency for that is 11760. I'm just using the number keys on my remote. And we can hit the OK. And then go down to the symbol rate. And the symbol rate is 30000. And it is a horizontal polarized transponder, so that's going to stay as it is. And we'll hit uh, Menu. And Menu gives us the option to save this. Yes, we want to save. And here we are back at the main satellite menu now. 
Okay, and now I've connected the cable to my receiver, and you can see we're getting a good strong signal on 103 West KU band. So we can actually go ahead and run a quick blind scan here just to show you that this works. So I'm gonna hit the white button for blind scan. And you can see the channels pop right up. NBC, Cozy TV, and there'll be a few more. Just takes a few minutes sometimes to uh, run a blind scan. And there come the rest of them. All right, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to add a satellite and transponder to your Amico Mini HD265 free satellite receiver.